Another website that I certainly want to try is called Uber Suggest. Once you go to this website, the first thing that you do is simply select your language. I'm just going to leave it English and USA. And over here you have a small query where you enter the keyword where you want to get more ideas. So attract women. And then you just press suggest. And you get a few keywords over here. But the great thing about this, uh, this website is once you click on one of these keywords, in a few seconds you get even more keywords. So I get a huge list of keywords and you can even go deeper. Let's say over here, attract women without trying. See what it pops out once I click on it. So I go even deeper and you can repeat the same process and go deeper and deeper until you get really good and low competition keywords for the website. Once you see a, a keyword that you like, you just press on the small uh, plus sign over here. And you can see that on the side it starts building a list of keywords. Then you press just the, the get button over here and you just copy and paste it to a notepad or some place where you, you can save the keywords that you found over here. Okay, now let's talk about a website called Suvo. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right or wrong. I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, this website really gives you a lot of ideas. The only thing that you need to do is go to this search box and it gets the ideas from Wikipedia, Answers.com, YouTube, Bing, Yahoo, Amazon, from all of these places. So I go over here and write uh, attract women and you can see that instantly I get when I have ideas. You actually may want to do this a bit slower and you can see that I get a bunch of ideas from these different places from Wikipedia. Let's put attract women just to see the difference. So attract women from Google, nothing special but Example for months to attract women if I had a product related to that might be actually a good keyword uh, ways to attract women body language to attract women nine traits that attract women that's another keyword so basically this is also a great website where you can get plenty of keywords another two that you may want to try out is called keywordtool.io so you go to this website and actually they mentioned below that Keyword Tool is the best alternative to Google Keyword Planner and other keyword research tools. Actually it's a pretty decent uh, keyword tool that you may want to try out because you can find plenty of long tail keywords for your website that may have low competition. Over here the first thing that you want to do is simply select the platform that you want to use. You have Google, YouTube, actually this is pretty great if you have idea of publishing videos over there. Uh, you also have Bing and App Store. So the, you want to select the search engine that you want to use. In this case I'm just going to stay with google.com and also the language. And over here you just put the main keyword which you want to get more ideas. Let's say relationship and see what pops out. So just press this small icon And you can see that I get quite a, a good amount of ideas that I might want to try out. And you can see that this, this side over here, I cannot see the information because I actually need to pay for their service. And this is really up to you. If you like this keyword, you might actually want to, to purchase the, the pro uh, service that they have over here. And you can see that over here you really have some quite decent keywords that you may want to use for a website. Let me just see one. Over here, a relationship between an employee and a supervisor is a, but just this, this keyword over here, this might be actually a good idea for a post if you have a relationship website where you offer some advice related to this. And this is just an idea that you may want to try out. 
So you can see that you actually get some pretty good uh, long tail keywords that you probably won't get using other keyword tools out there. So this is keyword tool and it's always worth a, a look. And here we are in Google Keyword Planner and this is certainly one of the most famous tools out there and I consider it pretty decent even though when it comes to getting IDs for keywords the tools that I have uh, mentioned previously many times give you better ideas. But Google Keyword Planner also gives you some options which other tools don't give to you and it's completely free. The first thing that you want to do is simply register an account with them. Once you register an account with them you want to go to tools and once you click on it you can see that you have Keyword Planner which takes you to this page that you can see over here. And you want to press the first section that appears over here and you want over here uh, put the main keywords which you want to get more ideas. For example, attract women. Then you separated with a comma and had another one. Let's say relationship advice, meet women. And below you want to target uh, the countries, uh, United States and also United Kingdom in this case. Also the language. I'm just going to keep it English. And you probably want to use keyword filters. This allows you, for example, average monthly searches. Let's say that you want only keywords that have more than 50 searches per month. You just put over here 50 and so on. And this might be useful. But I'm just going to keep it all blank. And I'm just going to press Get Ideas. And you can see that over here, the first page is separated in groups. So you have a group for relationship advice and once you click on it, you get more keywords as you can see. You might want to organize this over here just by clicking on this first option which allows you to organize it from the highest search, uh, monthly searches to the minimum or you can also do the opposite. And this is pretty much probably the, the most useful information is the monthly searches. Even though I want to warn you, when it comes to this information, it's not 100% true. Just because you see a keyword which receives only 30, uh, 30 monthly searches, it doesn't mean that you will just get that if you rank for this keyword, Tango Relationship Advice. If you actually had a page on your website ranking for this keyword, on the first position on Google, it doesn't mean you will just get 30 monthly searches. You certainly will get far more than this because you will rank for this keyword but also for alternative keywords. For example, um, Tango Relationship Advice uh, for Men, you probably would also rank for that keyword and also receive more traffic from that and so and so on. So don't trust this information 100%. You just, basically you just get an idea of what you may get if you actually rank for, for this particular keyword. And the other information that is quite useful is suggested bid. This is useful because people, when they are using HatSense, they are bidding so they can appear on a particular keyword uh, with their advert advertisement. So that means that if people are uh, bidding huge uh, values, then certainly they are doing money over there or else they wouldn't bid so much. So this might be useful when you are trying to find keywords which you want to sell products. And the higher the value that you see over here, then the probably, probably the more money you can do if you actually rank for that particular keyword later on. I'm just going to press over here back. I commonly use the keyword ideas over here. I, I typically don't use the group section. And over here you can see the traffic that I received for the main keywords that I had it previously. Relationship advice, meet women and so on. And I typically just, over here I just select from the, the lowest to the highest. And as I said, just because you see 20 uh, searches per month, it doesn't mean that this is a bad keyword. It actually might be a good keyword, 
because it's easier for you to rank because it has less competition compared to the ones that have the highest traffic for example dating sites I mean you probably probably if you have a new website in no time soon you will ever rank for this keyword so you may want to go for the ones that appear on the low end and then you simply select the keywords that you like for example let's say I like uh, want to meet women so I just select over here this zero one below and so on and you can see that it starts building a list of uh, keywords over here and if I want to pass it to my computer so I can see it on Excel I just select over here on download plan and this allows me to download it to my computer so I can see it on Excel and later on filter the keywords that I want to use for my website. So that's how you use Keyword Planner and it's pretty decent. Okay, so the last tool I'm going to talk about is called Keyword Researcher Pro. And this is a software that you need to install to your computer. If you want to get this uh, software, simply go to Google and write in the search box Keyword Researcher Pro and you certainly will find the website where you can download this software and install it. This software is not completely free, however, you still have a paid option, but you can still use the free option and still get a lot of good ideas when it comes to keywords for your website. So once you install this software, you want to get to this page and just press start a new project. I'm actually going to delete this midsection because I don't need it and just push it like this. Over here you can see an example and just get a better idea of what exactly this does. For example, Best Cameras 4, you can see a small asterisk appearing. This is an option that you can use on Google. What the asterisk does is it will substitute it by other words. For example, Best Cameras 4 2015. So the asterisk would be substituted by 2015. Or Best Cameras for this year best cameras for you to purchase on Christmas and so and so on and once you are using the free option what happens is this asterisk will only substitute by words that go from A to H if you actually are using the paid option it would go from A to Z and also have other options appearing below so I'm just going to give you an example how you'd use this track women not just asterisk also going to do it like this so I would get for example uh, best tips to attract women um, where to attract women and stuff like that and also do it for a relationship just to see what appears So basically what you want to do is just add your main keyword asterisk over here on, on front of the word or previously to the word and you may want to do it on the middle just like this. Once you have the word just press play so you can start getting ideas and you can see immediately that the track women it starts substituting that uh, asterisk by, by words that go from A to H. And this may just take a few seconds. At this point, I just only have uh, two keywords appearing. Actually, for relationship, I start getting more. And now the list is really growing a lot. Okay. It's done. So I got 162 keywords. And let's just see what we got over here. How to make a long distance relationship work. This would probably be a good uh, topic if I had a relationship a website. I would do a post around that. You can see that you really have a lot of keywords over here that you would want to check. 
So once you got the once you see a keyword that you actually like, you just press the small arrow and you start filling over here a list with only the keywords that you want to to check later on. Unfortunately, if you are using the free option, it doesn't allow you to save this to your computer once you're just using trial uh, mode. But you can still export it to your Google Keyword Planner. And over there you can see, for example, the search volume per month and other pieces of information that may be useful for you. So this is another keyword tool that you may want to check it out and it really gives you a lot of keyword ideas. So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe so you can receive my weekly video updates. That is all for now. Stay tuned with Pro Tutorials and bye.